Hi, my name is Nick Pepito and I'm the director of the Transitional Year Program here at uh, IU Health Ball Memorial Hospital. I've been the director of the program since the end of 2019. Uh, I'm a former BMH Transitional Year resident myself and I'm happy to uh, have the opportunity to lead a program with such a rich history of clinical excellence. Our mission is to provide a high quality academic education for our residents in a community environment. Our faculty are made up of members of the Graduate Medical Education Department here at Ball and also community physicians who are dedicated to teaching our residents. My favorite part so far has been the attendings. Um, I've been really impressed with them. I wasn't sure what to expect coming to a rural Indiana city with a medium-sized hospital, but I've been blown away with the autonomy that they give me as a physician, um, how well they educate, and their overall knowledge base. So there's a lot of electives to choose from. We could do dermatology electives, which a lot of us do. I did a radiology elective already. And for anesthesia, I'm going to do both an anesthesiology one month elective and also a, pain, a chronic pain management elective as well. None of the prelim programs that um, I was looking into would allow me to do both anesthesia and pain medicine. So this is just an example of how we can really tailor our schedules and tailor our year to reflect our future specialty as opposed to just kind of servicing the hospital and the wards team. One of the strongest attributes in my opinion about Ball Memorial Hospital is the people. The staff, uh, hospital staff and preceptors that you'll encounter while you're here are really just good people. They're second to none. You know, IU, there's IU Health students here, Ball State has a nursing program, um, there's three residencies here um, at Ball Memorial Hospital that have been here for decades, um, so all the, you know, the doctors and nurses there are used to residents and interns, you know, coming through every year, and so I really found that Ball Memorial really strikes that sweet spot between a community-based feel, but yet has the pathology and the um, specialists that you'd find in a university setting. So I think what surprised me the most, even as I transitioned from student to um, my role as a doctor here, is just the number of interesting cases. It's great for a transitional year. It's a great mix of just like the basic medicine and then really stimulating cases. Muncie is a Midwestern town located in East Central Indiana. It's about an hour northeast of Indianapolis. Uh, it's home to about 70,000 people. It's the home of Ball State University. We have an exercise trail system that weaves throughout the city. Downtown Muncie uh, offers restaurants and activities that really bridge the gap between small town and larger city. Something that drew me to Ball Memorial Hospital was the camaraderie that I could see from the previous transition year residents. Uh, there's a large group of us here and um, pretty socially active uh, university city, so there's a lot going on. So. Just the social interaction and uh, the ability to make friends easily was something that drew me here. The way the schedule is set up, you do get a wide variety um, of exposure in your intern year. You have several months of uh, intro medicine on the wards, some ICU, some ER, surgery. For whatever field you're going to specialize in, um, I still think it's good to have an intern year where you get a broad exposure to a lot of different specialties. It's better when we can focus our energy and our studies to our future advanced specialty as opposed to learning, you know, the, the scut work or just the, the gritty details. At the same time, we still have very good ICU training, which is important for me if I'm going to anesthesiology. I'm considering critical care in the future, and even though this is um, a smaller hospital, I definitely feel that working one-on-one -on -one with the attendings, I'm able to ask all the questions that I, that I want to ask. I'm able to go home and actually research the evidence-based material out there to answer my critical care questions as well. This is just our one-year opportunity to practice uh, and learn a lot about basic medicine before we starting our specialties. Um, and I'm definitely doing that. Um, also with the electives, I have enrolled in plastic surgery and doing my dermatology, which is the field, my elective field of um, practice. And I'll definitely get a little bit of everything and it's great. I do think this program is preparing well to go into radiology. 
Um, it's given me a lot of flexibility with the rotations I choose, so I have a, a good number of electives where I can get my hands in procedures and I can gain vascular access and it'll give me a step ahead of other people at residencies that don't get that opportunity, I believe. As program director here at the BMH Transitional Year Program, I really appreciate the opportunity to impact and shape so many young physicians and I'm just really proud to lead such an excellent residency program.